And with that, I actually wanted to let you guys know about today's video. Uh, it's about this crazy idea I had to build an underground cliff base in this exact spot right here. It's not that you find these type of spots every day in Rust. So yeah, please guys watch the whole video to see exactly what it's about. Um, and also furthermore, I'd just like to let you know that my mic for the recording wasn't that great. So I'm using this mic that I have now to kind of talk over and yeah. No, fuck off. Are you and with those kind words, I was ready to get back right into the goal of this video. So that encounter I had was a bit too close for me, so I went down to the bottom of my base, grabbed some of the stone out of a stash and some other stuff, and I went back to finish off my base. Because I mean where else in Rust are you going to find a hole that perfect? You're not gonna get another one of those, my bro. That's that's like the one that you don't want to get away, if you know what I mean. So you finish that. You you make sure you finish that.
guys, we have secured the base. Look at this. I mean, look at this. So this is pretty much day one for me. Uh, day two consisted of upgrading the base, putting a few things in place, uh, just upgrading my personal space in Rust. And uh, so yeah, but you know what I noticed in daytime when it's running, uh, I mean raining in Rust, it's so beautiful. But at nighttime, damn, it's bloody dark. I'm trying to see just something, but geez, look how dark it is, guys. It's like absolute pitch black. Uh, I'm gonna go in the water treatment now, see what's happening. Wish me luck. I've only got a bow. It's only day two of warp. I'm running in blind, guys. Looks like it's already been looted. Oh, come on. Now pay attention to this big base over here, they actually get much bigger throughout the warp. And uh, also don't judge my bow skills, I know they're bad, just joking, you can judge them. No, no, no. This guy anyways comes back for the horse <laughs> and takes it from me. So I chased after him hoping that I find him or the horse somewhere but I didn't find him anywhere so I just gave up and I went back to base and carried on with the goal of this video. However, I did want to recycle a few items, so I ran all the way to Bandit to recycle a few items and as I was leaving Bandit camp, so much things happened and I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so now we've got to leave Bandit camp. I think we've got quite the issue here that we have to leave Bandit camp uh, at this time. Because the sun's going to come up and I can't really be sneaky sneaky. So... Yeah... I don't really know how this is going to go. I'm hoping that it doesn't turn out. Oh, I lost everything! I should have just left it. You know, I always try and get into these fights and I'm the one that loses. So I realized the land was not safe and I had to head to the ocean to get my scrap there. And while I was in the ocean, all I could really say is, you know, nowhere is safe in Rust. Nowhere. Once I got to the surface, I was actually looking at the ocean pretty confused, but I had to quickly get the box that was in the ocean, get out, and went to a different area, and everything seemed fine for a while, so yeah, but as we know, this is rust.
Oh, lucky Emma. I stood up in the water. What the heck? Oh, jeez. I better get back to base. So, changed a few garage doors, did a few base upgrades, and then on the day I left, I was like, wow, beautiful day in Rust. Found this decayed base. I was like, damn, even a better day in Rust. And with such a bad start to the day and with so many other things I have on my plate, I decided to just leave Rust for the day and come back the next day. And this is that base also that I was telling you guys to pay attention to earlier within the video. These guys have been around since I started here. Yeah. Started off so small and they went so big. Now they're nothing. This was just a waste of time, so I just killed myself. Anyways, what the hell? Let's go check out this side. So there was no hammer there and on top of that the base had like some tool cupboard protection still around it so I couldn't really do anything there. So I ran around the map, heard the shotgun trap uh, just over in the distance so I went there to go check it out and I found this body inside the base and boy oh boy was it loaded. Hmm. Sneaky trappers. You see, everybody's getting raided and chowed. I mean, freaking out. There's like no one left. about getting chowed, eh? And now that I had this other goal in mind to get another workbench level 3, well not another one but the only workbench level 3 and especially for free, I went back to the other base, tried every possible thing, I mean I got the heli to help me out, I tried to pick up the base, I did everything I could and nothing worked. But eventually I got it. I've been picking away at this base for I think like what an hour and a half, two hours probably and now I'm about to only try this no. How is this? So we're gonna head straight back to base with our level 3. 
just spent two hours where I more than likely could have pushed, just put the TC on top the whole time from the beginning. So yeah, I wasted two hours. All right, guys. So we have just cleaned up a little bit in the base. This is how it looks now at the moment. As you can see, this is our base. A little bit of space left for some stuff. Nothing much. You know, not much space. That uh, repair bench will have to go over here in this corner. The battery will have to go over there. Then it gets interesting. We've got the bear rug right here with the shotgun trap sticking out the R. Well, it's as close as I can get it to sticking out the R. We've got our level 3, which we need to place down. So after placing down the workbench level 3, I decided that I was going to log off for the evening and come back the next day. And then I went on a big farm run and I got a lot of resources, basically a whole inventory full. And uh, yeah, guys, if you haven't already subscribed or liked this video, please do so. You've stuck it out this far already, so you might as well like and subscribe to this kind of content because clearly you do enjoy it. Let me know down below what you would like to see next or what other content you enjoy. Right, guys, I think we're just going to quickly go on a little raid here. So, I'm going to go raid a base with a flamethrower. It's been like that for a while, and there's a few boxes inside, so I'm interested to see if there's anything in this base or if it's just nothing. As soon as the flames have cleared, then we go empty, empty, well that didn't go according to plan. And you know what? Sometimes it's the unplanned moments that are the best, such as this moment here. So where are we going? <laughs> Hello man, what's up? Hey man! We actually heard you uh, uh, earlier. Uh, we, we've been released. Really are you solo? Yeah, 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 I'm solo. I just saw the airdrop. Uh, did you just join? No, no, not at all. I've okay. been here for a while. Don't worry. Well, well, you're lucky. We're not. We're not as. We're not as toxic as the other guys. Do you have a baby down or no? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Okay, whereabouts? Yeah, it's we just are... over there. On. Oh, uh, you'll see now. U15. Yeah, I saw the airdrop, so I was like, oh, let me go see. It's an odd place for it to drop. So, so how much can how how much how much can we trust you? I don't know. How much can I trust you? Oh no, well, we have the power here, so... Eh, <laughs> uh, that's what you think. Just we, because I'm naked. We, we've, we've got... No, we've, we've got power, we've got stuff to lose. Alright. Well, thanks for the lift anyway. So it's about that time where I actually go and finish off that raid I started and uh, yeah, let's see how it went. But as you can see when I got back the base was upgraded to stone so it was going to cost me a little bit more than I expected. But it's okay because I had explosive bullets and I was really prepared for something like this anyways. Just wasn't fully prepared so to say. So it looked like I was just a bit short on uh, explosive bullets, so I went back to base, cooked up some sulfur, headed back to the base, continued the raid, 
and this is pretty much how it went for me uh yeah guys please don't forget like and subscribe really appreciate it hope you enjoy it Waste.